sa aking mga manonood, sanay na panood nyo na ang part 1 nito para masigitin yung maunawaan ang tungkol sa lesson na ito. Kaya, umpisa na natin ang part 2. Okay, example number 2. x squared minus 2x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 0. So, that is our given in number 2. So, again, we will factor out the trinomial on the left side. So, negative 8 yung value ng sin natin. So, therefore, our factored form is x minus 4 times the quantity of x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So, next, we will get the zeros of the quadratic inequality. So, we have x equals 4 or x equals negative 2. Proceed, we will now plot the points on the graph. Okay. So, i-locate natin muna yung may maliit na value. So, dito negative 2. So, let us assume na nandito ang negative 2 followed by negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Or positive 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Dito naman, sa kaliwang side ng negative 2, meron tayong negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. Now, since we have greater than or equal to, ano ang ilagay natin dito? Shaded circle or unshaded? Okay, so we have shaded or close. Why close? Dahil meron tayong or equal to sa ating given. So, shaded. And then, dahil greater than pa rin naman siya, ang solution sets natin ay ang first and third intervals. So, i-highlight natin ito. At i-highlight din natin ito. And then, isulat natin ang interval. So, ano ang interval dito? We have x is less than or equal to negative 2. Kapag yung given natin na symbol ay may equal to, ang ating interval ay may equal to din. Next, yung second interval natin ay x is greater than or equal to negative 2 but less than or equal to 4. Okay? And the third interval is we have x is greater than or equal to 4. And our solution set is we have x is less than or equal to negative 2. Union. x is greater than or equal to 4. So this is our solution set to this quadratic inequality. Okay, number 3. Number 3, we have x squared minus 7x plus 12 is less than 0. And if we're going to factor out, we will find the factors of 12 with the sum of negative 7. And the factors are negative 4 and negative 3. So therefore, our factored form is quantity of x minus 4 times the quantity of x minus 3 is less than 0. And the zeros are we have x equals 4 or x equals 3. And again, we will make a number line. Alright? And then, i-locate natin kung saan yung 3 and 4. So, for example, this is 3. And this is 
4. And here we have 5, 6, 7, and so on. Here we have 2, 1, 0, and so on. Ngayon, ano ang ilalagay natin dito sa ating boundary? So, ang ilagay natin dito ay unshaded circle dahil wala tayong equal to. So, open lang siya. Open lang din. Ngayon, dahil less than naman ang ating inequality sign, ang magiging solution natin ay ang second interval. Ito. So, i-highlight natin to dahil ito ang ating solution set. Okay? So, yan. So, ano-ano ang ating intervals? So, dito meron tayong x is less than 3. Dito naman, meron tayong x is greater than 3 but less than 4. Dito naman, meron tayong x is greater than 4. Okay? Pero, ang ating solution ay ito. So, therefore, our solution is we have x is greater than 3 but less than 4. Okay, less na tayo. Number 4. We have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. So, here, meron na tayong or equal to. And if we're going to factor out this one, okay, so, ganito ang gagawin natin. So, ito yung nakasanayan ko kapag yung value ng A natin ay greater than 1. So, i-multiply natin ang 2 sa negative 3 or we will multiply the value of A to C. So, magiging x squared plus 5x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. And then ngayon, hanapin natin ang factors ng negative 6 with the sum of 5. So, ang factors na yun are 6 and negative 1. Okay? So, ang factored form natin ay ganito. So, x plus 6 at dahil nag-multiply tayo kanina ng 2, mag-divide tayo dito ngayon ng 2 times the quantity of x minus 1. Again, dahil nag-multiply tayo ng 2 dito kanina, mag-divide tayo dito ng 2. Yan. It's less than or equal to 0. So, ano ang magiging zeros ng ating quadratic inequality? So, we have x equals negative. What is 6 over 2? That is 3. So, meron tayong negative 3 or we have x equals one half. Yan. And then, i-draw natin or i-plot natin sa number line. So, i-locate natin ang negative 3 and 1 half. So, mas maliit or maliit yung negative 3 compare sa 1 half. So, as if nandito yung negative 3. Okay. And then, sunod nyan, pa kanan, we have negative 2 negative 1, 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Dito naman, from negative 3, makaliwa, meron tayong negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on. Now, ngayon, ang 1 half natin sa decimal, that is 0.5. So, ang 0.5 natin ay banda dito. So, sa gitna ng 0 and 1. So, ngayon, dahil meron tayong or equal to, ano ang ilalagay natin dito? Open circle or shaded or unshaded? Okay, very good. We have shaded. So, i-shade natin to bilog. And then, dito din. Ayan. So, dahil less than... 
ang interval na magiging solution natin ay itong nasa second interval. So, yan. So, ano-ano ang mga intervals natin? We have x is less than or equal to negative 3. Dito naman, we have x is greater than or equal to negative 3 but less than or equal to 1 half. Ang pangatlong interval natin ay we have x is greater than or equal to 1 half. But again, our solution is this one. So therefore, our solution is x is greater than or equal to negative 3 but less than or equal to 1 half. So this is it. At guys, mga ka-learners, dito nagtatapos ang ating video lesson. So maraming salamat sa inyong panunood and I hope nagustuhan ninyo ang video na ito.